Ben Aqualter, it's great to have you with us from Bio. It's great to be talking again. It is. I know you've been uh, in hiding for a little while. We yeah. spent a lot of time yep. together on Mass Effect 3 with Casey, you and the team up there, yes. uh, working on that game. And uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, you guys uh, teased a little yesterday. I think the fans always, yep. they have a voracious appetite for more information. Yep. Um, and you gave us a little bit of a tease. Uh, what, what did you want to accomplish yesterday with that video? You know, I think uh, for us, a lot of it was yeah, actually about it, sort of showing some of the hard work that the team's been putting into it. Characters are obviously a huge part of any yeah. Bioware and Mass Effect game. And, uh, you know, getting on Frostbite now um, and really pushing the characters as far as we can. We want to sort of tease what some of the characters are going to look like. Those are yeah. those are in-game characters. That's wow. what they look like, you know, when you talk to them in a, you yeah. know, in a conversation. Yeah. And uh, that, and, and sort of hinted some of the environments and the places you'll go. And that, that sort of sense of adventure yeah. uh, in a new galaxy that we want to get across. Well, as you said, moving to uh, Frostbite uh, is going to lead to a pretty amazing world. Uh, we saw the characters. I'm curious, how are you going to tell the story? I mean, is it going to be sort of with the traditional kind of dialogue wheel? Or are you going to reinvent that? How are you going to tell story and dialogue in this game? Uh, it, it'll, it'll be very familiar to people, okay. but also we are pushing the envelope in that. I yeah. think, you know, one of the things we've been talking about is yeah, 10 years ago, people, we were coming off with KOTOR and people like this sort of, this morality, this black and white in, in the Paragon Renegade system came out of that. Yeah. But we, over the course of, of, of the trilogy, really started to uh, explore those gray storylines, you know, where there's always a, a right answer. And I think we want yeah. to evolve the system to allow people to feel like they, they can, you know, they're not just on the opposite ends of an extreme when they're, right. when they're when they're doing that, but they're actually you know, somewhere in the middle. Well, I'm yeah. really excited to sort of see how it's going to play out um, in the game and the gameplay. So we know this is sort of a new, it's not Commander Shepard's story, it's Correct. sort of a different story. Correct. We saw the tease of sort of a, a female uh, yep. character Our towards the end. Yep. Is that, so that is the protagonist? Is protagonist yep. Does the protagonist have a name? It's Ryder. So a lot of people, Ryder, have, okay. a lot of people have asked about that. So yeah. you're, you're hearing about it confirmed here. Okay. Uh, and yeah, Ryder is the uh, is the uh, name of the protagonist. And as a, a little other tease of it, were there are, there's more than one Ryder too. Okay. So so you yeah. can be obviously there'll be a male female option. I'm sure, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Of course. So when you say more than one Ryder, what do you mean by that? Uh, I mean that there's there's a Ryder family. We're gonna okay. we're gonna tie that into the to the storyline. Interesting. Um, we're okay. gonna approach approach the way you choose your character a little bit differently than we did with uh, oh. Commander Shepard. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So there's a family you can be a part of that yeah. uh, with the character. So that's an interesting tease. And you know, you have obviously you are you know in many ways driving a lot of the story for all the Mass Effects. Um, yep. With this story, I mean, it is sort of a separate adventure, but it's as we saw in the trailer, it has sort of hints and teases that tie mm -hmm. back to the other trilogy. Yep. Um, do you feel is this sort of going to be fully self-contained, or I think of like you know Star Wars, where it's like you see different eras of Star Wars, right. but they're links. I mean, are you trying to deliberately link back to the old Mass Effect? We're actually, we're actually trying to more deliberately create a space where we can really look forward. Um, okay. I think I think that was one of the things that we'll always have hints and nods to the trilogy. Yeah. I mean, it, it's our fans love it. It's so you know so revered. Um, but we also want to sort of you know you know not be fettered with you know you know being saying that we have to look back to what we've done before yeah. and be able to say no, this is a new galaxy. It's a new story. It's new characters, yeah. as you said. And, and what do we want to do? You know, looking ahead. Uh, one thing that I think a lot of fans are wondering about is, you know, the idea of an RPG, mm -hmm. uh, you know, living by itself, the multiplayer factor into it, you guys certainly experimented with mm -hmm. that, Mass Effect 3. Yep. When you think of this this world, how do you think sort of other players and co-op and multiplayer factors into this experience? You know, I, I, I actually think, you know, our, our multiplayer was a, a, a surprising success for us. Yeah. You know, we, we'd been wanting to do that throughout the trilogy, and we, and we brought it in. We actually found a way to tie it in. Some fans didn't like how tied it, you know, how it was tied in. Yeah. But as we've, you know, experimented with that, and we we're looking at that in, in Andromeda, you know, if we're, if we're going to go ahead with multiplayer, we'll want to make sure that it feels like a seamless, you know, sort of transition between the two of them, and, the, yeah. and that there's rewards for doing either or, um, but not that you have to do either. Yeah. yeah. So tell us about the state of the game's development. I think a lot of fans yeah. yesterday were like, is this really coming out next yeah, yeah. year? Like, yeah, what's yeah. the plan? Um, where are you guys at with development on well, this? This isn't, this isn't just for fashion. <laughs> this is my playoff beard. We are, we are very much in the in the final stretch. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're coming in. Uh, it'll be spring next year. Yeah. Um, and right now, you know, uh, I think for us, the, the challenge was, even though we're building on a on a, an existing franchise, bringing everything into Frostbite, new technologies, uh, new consoles, we're literally having to rebuild everything again. Wow. So, um, again, that's why it was a bit of a tease yesterday. We, we want to show assets to look as amazing as possible by yeah. where Mass Effect, we're known for quality. We want to push that. And so right now it's just polish, polish, polish. Wow. Yeah. All right, well, I'm sure it's going to be a, an amazing story. And as you said, the world and, you know, the vehicles and the space. I mean, it feels yeah. like there's going to be a lot of adventure there. Yeah. Um, more vehicles in this one? 
Um, we're, we're gonna we're gonna stick to the to the to the one vehicle for this okay. time, you know. But okay. I think our focus is about making that one. There vehicle. goes that space combat. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But make but make that uh, make that one vehicle amazing, yeah. right? Um, so you know, we have people who love the Mako and people yeah. who hated the Mako, and so we, we want everyone to to love the vehicle going forward. Well, there you see the tease at the end. Meet Ryder for the first time. That's right. Um, all right. Well, we can't wait to hear more about this game uh, later this year. Sounds like we'll hear more on uh, yes Mass later this year. Yeah, yeah. You bet. Um, all right, Mac. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, this is a game that Appreciate I'm personally really excited about, so we can't wait to see what you guys are working on. Awesome. I'll get up to you very much. soon. Thanks very yeah, much. Yeah. Mac Walters.